In a fast-changing business environment, a company's ability to learn and adapt effectively and have the right talent to help them do this is indispensable. However, when times are tough, one of the first costs that some CFOs will cut are those related to talent management courses, specifically executive education. In this episode of FDTV, we come to Frankfurt. We visit the campus of Frankfurt School of Finance and Management, where we speak with Dr. Marcus Maidler, the Program Director of Degree Programs and Executive Education. We also speak with Manuel Segura, Senior Accountant at INEAS, who has participated in a number of courses and gives us his first-hand experience of being a Frankfurt alumnus. But first, we'll look at the importance of investing in executive education and whether organizations are doing enough when it comes to attracting and retaining the best talent. Cost management is obviously always relevant, important and essential in any good company. Um, in order to make sure that the value creation process uh, is sustainable and also successful. When it comes to um, cutting down cost or an effective cost management, sometimes we confuse um, effective cost management that with a long-term focus with uh, short-termish cost cutting across the board uh, that delivers uh, short-term impacts. Executive education Although it shows up on the PL as a cost item, we all know that in reality it's an investment in intangibles for the future. So um, cutting back on investments for the future essentially would signal that there is no future, to put it very blunt. If I may speak personally, the program has helped me so far every time that I have a, a new subject uh, as they are tailored to very practical examples, you can take directly and apply those theories that you learn in course in your uh, environment, in your company. As well, um, there is a lot of awareness from my management that this program is bringing me on a different level in terms of uh, um, being a better manager with different uh, philosophy, not coming from the corporate culture, but as well from the academic uh, subject. I really feel that uh, this program helped me to grow as a person. So how much support are employees getting from their employers? The question is, do they provide the right type of support? Financial support is the, the usual suspect, and I think that is relevant, but this is only a starting point. Another kind of support that is really important is to allow executives the time away from their job. Time is an executive's most scarce resource. So if companies do pro not provide their people the time to attend executive education courses, then or they permanently interfere with the learning, then the success obviously is put at risk. The uh, biggest source of support, however, I think has to do also with signaling the commitment of the company to the executives and also helping executives identify which courses are right and the best ones for them. I would say that uh, a company could do more. Um, particularly big companies uh, uh, should enter into partnership with the schools uh, in order to, uh, to further develop their, uh, their competencies. Um, in my personal experience, my company, we are two uh, students. Um, we got uh, the support from the company in terms of uh, uh, further holidays, um, allowing us to, uh, to participate in study group, um, as well as a, a, a small financial uh, help, which, uh, which is definitely uh, um, enjoyable. <laughs> the people that, uh, that are uh, directly uh, um, affected, so my colleagues, my managers, they know that this is a time where I need to focus a little bit more on the studies and they are very supportive uh, to it. Of course, I am the only one in my department, so uh, maybe it makes it a, a bit easier, but uh, definitely I, I get the support emotionally, at least from, uh, from everybody. 
Frankfurt School of Finance and Management is of course renowned for its expertise in finance. So we ask Marcus to talk us through some of the open enrollment programs that they offer. Our traditional core competence is definitely in finance as a discipline, but at the same time it's also in finance as a sector. What I want to say with that is that if you work closely with the top management of financial organizations over multiple decades, then you learn a lot about business. And you also have to be able to bring a lot to the table about business. When it comes to B2B, when it comes to B2C, when it comes to managing complexity, when it comes to managing global operations. And based on that, we have been able to successfully develop a portfolio of expertise and programs that are transferable also to other sectors. Even a bank has people management, has service operations, has a supply chain, has marketing, has sales, has strategy, has an IT infrastructure. We could not be successful in partnering with financial institutions if we did not have expertise in all these areas. Every school likes to try and take a unique approach to the way they operate, be it the way they teach or the student culture they create. So how does Frankfurt School differentiate itself from other institutions? Well, I am still attending a, a course. We are about like three quarter in the program. And so far I'm I'm loving it. Um, everything is, uh, is very lively. We, have, uh, we are sharing a lot of experience uh, among a lot of different students from everywhere, different industries. Uh, this is very uh, challenging, but extremely uh, benefiting as well as, uh, as uh, professionally and, and as a person. We have uh, lecturers coming from all over the world, from Spain, from Ghana, from the US, on our different topics, so the, the, the school are bringing the, the best lecturer in their uh, subject. I chose Frankfurt School first for the location, uh, but it was not only the, the, the only criteria. Frankfurt School has a great reputation, not only here in Frankfurt, but uh, it start, it's a reputation that starts to grow uh, in Europe. And definitely I want to be part of this. They are extremely well ranked and growing every year. I think in few years this will reflect as well on my uh, CV. We were founded as an executive education institution almost 60 years ago. So from day one, um, our DNA has been impacted by helping executives and managers and professionals succeed in practice. And since those days, we have continued with this tradition and have been successful during all that time. Over the last 20 years, we have added academic excellence to this and have opened up our portfolio. So, how will the world of executive education evolve in the years to come? I do believe that, that uh, the, the competence from managers in general need to stay up to date and, and moving with uh, the evolution of globalization. So, I do believe that this will uh, increase in the future and personally I would, I would uh, uh, like to see this, our HR departments more involved into uh, partnering with the school, tailoring their program that, that it, it goes straight to what, what the needs are in the companies. Executive education is already changing. Um, I think obviously digitalization of business is um, having its impact on education as well. Executive education will probably be delivered in the future in a much more efficient and condensed form, where uh, the time of the participants in a classroom with faculty, with trainers, with coaches uh, is really um, reduced. And that puts the emphasis then on the efficiency and the effectiveness of this interaction. Another aspect is that we move away from, let's say, a um, peanut butter approach of executive education to a more customized and also even personalized experience. Everybody has a different background, different situation, 
different career aspirations. Every company has different ideas what the people need to know to succeed in the future. And executive education will have to adjust to these trends and is also adjusting to these trends. Most business leaders, including CFOs and CEOs, have started to increasingly recognize the need to enhance not just their own skills, but also those of their employees, in order to ensure that the organization is constantly bettering itself and retains its competitive edge. Given the commitment required for an executive education course, not just from a financial perspective, but also that of time and effort, it is important for those employees that do decide to participate in one, that they take their time choosing the right school and the right course for them. However, the role of the employer is in providing all their support throughout this process can, at times, be just as critical in ensuring its overall success.